Let's get to this point where you're in the church, uh, you were raised in the church from a very early age, your whole family's in the church, and then there was an incident that bothered you that started, I think you had questions before, but in 2006, you go to a big wedding, big celebrity uh, wedding mm -hmm. of uh, Tom Cruise to Katie Holmes, mm -hmm. the wedding, and you were friends with uh, the wife of kind of, uh, what is he called, this, the chairman of the board yes. of Scientology? Yes. David, uh, Miscavige. is it? Miscavige. Mm -hmm. David Miscavige is, is the big cheese of Scientology, and you're friends with his wife, and you see that his wife isn't there. Right. And you asked, her name is Shelly, where's Shelly? Right. This, there's this big wedding, where's Shelly, and what happened? Well, I asked innocently, um, you know, where's Shelly? Because I thought it was odd. It was being, uh, they were calling it the wedding of the century, mm -hmm. the, the church. And I said, well, where's Shelly Miscavige? And with that was a reaction of, you know, people just scattering. They didn't want to have any part of this. Um, so people around you, like, got out of there? Literally just, like, scattered. And I was like, oh, oh, oh okay. Um, and, and I had gone to the, to the church, and I, I asked the, the spokesperson at the time, Tom Davis, uh, where is Shelly? I think it's weird that she's not here. And he said, you don't have the effing rank to be asking about the leader's wife. Mm -hmm. And I felt that I did have the F and rank to ask where a human being was. Right. Um, and she's your better. friend. You're just saying... Well, uh, I, I, you know, you, we're saying friends, and, and the church is saying, you know, that we weren't friends. For, it was. It, it is not usual for a parishioner like me, even though I was considered a celebrity in my church, mm -hmm. to be kind of mingling with the upper echelon of exe senior executives of the church, but we were friendly. Um, for, for many years, we exchanged cards, we exchanged gifts on the holidays. She always wrote a thank you note. Mm -hmm. So it was suspicious that all of a sudden it was just radio silence. And so I felt I did have the right to ask where a human being was. Um, but there's ranks in, in, in the organization. And, and since then, uh, do you know where, where Shelley Miscavige is now? I do not. Um, I filed a police report. Um, I, I did not receive an actual, uh, uh, the, the person who was in charge of the, of the case said that it was um, classified, which is not usual, um, that they couldn't give me any information other than she was fine. I, I needed proof. I mm -hmm. wanted to know who, who uh, spoke to her. Was mm -hmm. she alone? Was she okay? Was, are you sure? I, was she, were you talking to a representative of her? Um, so I didn't get those specifics. And of course, um, the, the church is claiming that I, that I um, filed a, a, an unfounded report, which is a classification that the LAPD gives mm -hmm. um, for, for uh, certain... Anyway, they have a certain nomenclature they use for reports, but they, of course, use that to imply that I did it purposely and that I knew where she was. I think one of the things... When I was just watching the show. It's one of the uh, allegations in the show that... You, that, that and it's, th again, this is not just you. You're talking to a lot of people who mm -hmm. used to be in the church, are not in the church right. anymore, and they're talking to you and everyone's sharing their experiences, and I think that's what, what gives the series a lot of power is it's people talking... And a lot of them talk about being physically assaulted. Sure. They'll disagree with someone in the church who outranks them, and that person will just start hitting them. Correct. And they say no one in the room will do anything, and the person who's being assaulted actually says, I didn't do anything. I just stood there and let them hit me. Right. And I watch that as an adult, and I don't understand how that's possible. It's, it's possible because if you believe that you have barred freeing mankind, that, that, that your transgression of not putting a cup where it should be, or um, giving Somehow somebody... Somehow impeded the progress of the church. Yeah. Correct, correct. And so they start to believe that they deserve to be... They deserve this punishment. Correct. And that's how it, um, it has, has um, continued.